Hey guys, uh, Tanashi22 here, and I want to do a quick review for you. So I'm going to be reviewing Age of Ultron. Um, I'm sure most of you have already seen the movie anyway, so there may be a couple, well, there may be quite a few spoilers, but whatever the case, just so it's out there, you know, there are spoilers uh, that will be in this review. So anyway, Age of Ultron, I believe it's the last film of Phase 2. I don't, I think Ant-Man is actually in Phase 3. I could be wrong about that, so uh, let me know if I am. But anyway, uh, I think for me personally, this movie was very good. And I actually like it more than the first one. Having seen the first one several times since it's come out, and I actually own it on Blu-ray. So... Um, my opinion could change because I've only seen Age of Ultron once. So my opinion could very well change after multiple viewings as well. I'm just going to put it out there. I did enjoy it more than the first one. Uh, Ultron himself is a likable villain. He doesn't have quite the build-up that Loki had being in another movie. But I do like him. I like how he took characteristics from uh, from Tony, who is his, you know, creator. So I actually did like that. I loved the voice. The voice was uh, very good. And his his motivations for for what he does, uh, I, I I buy into him. It, again, it wasn't as well developed as some other villains, but. Other villains being Loki mostly, um, because he he's far m- a far more better villain than I think you got in Guardians or uh, in Thor: The Dark World or in Iron Man uh, three. So you know he he I don't think he's as good of a villain as what people were hoping for. Uh, a lot of people were hoping for like the new kind of Darth Vader esque villain, and and that's not what we got. And I'm completely fine with that. So, you know, I wasn't going in expecting that, and I didn't get it, so I wasn't really disappointed by it either. Anyway, I think the cast did a really good job. I think the standout for me uh, would be Scarlet Witch. Uh, I think her character was developed really well. Quicksilver was alright uh, for Quicksilver. I know a lot of people prefer the one from Days of Future Past. I think that's more of a scene thing because that scene was really good in that movie. And in th- this one, the Quicksilver doesn't have that kind of scene. So, But I overall, I enjoyed them. So I liked the side characters. I liked the villain. I liked the main cast. I liked that Hawkeye finally got some story to him. I still wish he was a bit of a stronger uh, stronger character as part of the team and he's not and they do touch upon that but I feel like he should be uh, because having seen a lot of the animated stuff and, and some of the comics he is a badass so he kind of gets cheated on that front. The uh, Natasha and, and Hulk you know, relationship, I, I'm i okay with it, it's not really my preference, but I'm fine with it, the overall movie felt like it was a little crowded, and the whole deal with Thor going into that, you know, pool thing, I'm sure you've heard from other people, it felt a little bit out of place, so the, uh, the final battle was a, a little anticlimactic, it, it was kind of the same thing as the first movie, and since I've already gotten it before, I wasn't overly impressed. I really enjoyed Vision, though. I liked his addition uh, as well. So uh, in, uh, you got to love the voice of Jarvis for it. Uh, and I also like Vision having uh, a talk with Ultron at the uh, near the end of the movie, their, the final kind of talk about humanity and their, and their views on it. So... Overall, I really like this movie. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I, if I had to rate it, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Whereas Avengers for me gets a 7 out of 10. So again, this is only seeing the movie once. I know there's actu- 
there's some problems with it. There's like I said, there's overcrowding and there is kind of that whole deal of well been there, done that, uh with it, but I don't really fault the movie too much for it. And I think the character development's really strong and the relationships are good. And I'm interested to see where it goes from here. So anyway, uh that'll about wrap this up, seeing that I have hit over the five minute mark. But that is my opinion on the movie, so let me know uh, in the comments what your thoughts were, what were your, your the strengths of the movies in, in your opinion, what were the problems. Uh, let me know and let me know what you overall you think. Thanks. Peace.